Tracy. Seamus is the best gardener I know. He grows the most amazing stuff on his little balcony garden. Bananas and lettuce and apples and broccoli. Oh, and extra squashy strawberries. But Seamus's pride and joy are his tomatoes. They're completely organic. No chemicals or insecticides to harm our environment. You see, Seamus doesn't just like his plants. He likes bugs and insects too. Hey, Tracy. Jack the Caterpillar, isn't he cute? Cute? Uh, aren't you worried he might eat your plants? No problem. There's plenty here for everyone. Yeah, right. Uh, let me think about that one. So, what'll it be, fella? A juicy leaf or a tasty tomato? But there are some things that like bugs even more than Seamus does. Like them to eat, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Go eat some berries or something. And don't let me see you around here again. Whatever way you look at it, gardening's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's definitely no place for whips. Which is why my sister Megan is such a legend at the school gardening club. And this is Eric, and he's a carnivorous plant. Oh. 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 Out of the way, Megan. We're going to show you a real plant. You ready, Jake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate to tell you this, McConnelly, but uh, that's not a plant. It's a rock. Ha! Ha! That's what you think. It's not just a rock. It's a rock with moss on it. Yeah, it's a rolling stone with moss on it. <laughs> you guys are totally tragic. Yeah, gardeners take no prisoners, all right. So when we heard the local plant show had a prize for the biggest tomato, the mind games really began. Ours will be bigger than yours. La, 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 la. Ugh, doubly, totally tragic, McConnelly. Yeah, that'll scare him, Jake. <sighs> Evidence would lead me to suspect that you failed to grasp the subtle nuances of psychological warfare, James. Shut up, Jay. OK, Seamus, let's get planting. We've got a tomato to grow and a competition to win. Not much chance of that, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? You're the best gardener in the school. Maybe, but everyone else will be using chemicals and genetically modified plant foods. So? I grow mine organically. I might win the prize for the healthiest tomato, but it won't be the biggest. Seamus was determined to grow his tomatoes the natural way. But there was no reason I couldn't invent a few things to give nature a hand. You ready, Seamus? You're gonna love this. Well, how much do you love it? It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's... what is it? The Tracy McBean Super Garden Greenhouse. Magnifying windows to maximise the sun's rays. Auto watering system. Total climate control. And headphones. Ah, specially modified plant headphones. So our tomatoes can chill out and relax to their favourite music. I tell you, Seamus, with your gardening ability and my inventions, we could become superheroes. Today the tomato. Tomorrow the tomato. Green thumb and manure girl! Manure girl? Shh! It's my secret formula. Horse, chicken, sheep and goat. With just a dash of kangaroo guaranteed to grow a mega tomato in no time flat. Oh, I think you're right. Anything that smells that bad has got to be good. Seamus and I got to work. After a while we could hardly smell the fertiliser. But everyone else could. Seamus <laughs> decided to sleep over at my place, which was just as well because the rest of my family decided to sleep over at his place. Come on, Seamus, let's see if anything's grown yet. Seamus, <gasps> do you realise what this means? 
We overdid it with the fertilizer? No. This may be my best invention ever. With this fertilizer, we can end world hunger. Restore the rainforest. Grow strawberries you couldn't pole vault over. <laughs> the fertilizer doesn't just make the plants grow big. Uh. Maybe I overdid it with the Rupu. Mommy. If I didn't know better, I'd be sure it said Mummy. Mommy. Tracy! It's logical, really. And you were the first thing it saw when it popped out of the tomato. Now it thinks you're its mother. But I'm too young to be a mother. Or a father. I'm barely old enough to be an older brother. Relax, it'll settle down soon. See, it's given up already. This is getting seriously serious. The news isn't all that, Seamus. It won't stay a caterpillar forever. I figure we've got three days until it turns into a cocoon. Three days? Well, that's not so bad. The coast is clear. They're playing some sort of... Insect computer game. Yeah, yeah. Can we play that too? No, we can't play too. We're here to spy on their tomatoes, remember? Okay, shh, no need to shout for them um, in the tomato growing competition. I oh, did do. Let's get in there while I keep a lookout for McBean. How's it look? Oh, I'm pretty average, I reckon. Ha! Sucked in! Wait till they see the size of the. Uh, uh, the size of the what? The, the, the big. What? Big. What's up, Jim? Big, 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 big worm. Big worm. Big worm. Big worm. Big worm. starts with big, big worm like truck. Evidently, you have been handling our super secret fertilizer without protective clothing again. A good detox, and you'll be fine. We've got to keep it a secret, at least until it has time to turn into a butterfly and fly away. How? It follows me around everywhere like a giant legless dog. <gasps> That's it. I knew you'd find the answer. Me too. What answer? It didn't take much. Just a few things from Megan's dress-up box that we were set. Now, you've got the story straight? I hope so. That's an unusual dog, Seamus. What breed is it? It's my new short-legged hell's beagle. Mommy, mommy. And such an unusual bark. What's his name? Bugs. Oh, how delightfully comic. Bye, Bugs. We did it. She never suspected a thing. Tracy, you're a genius. Yes, I guess I am. It was all going so smoothly. Just a couple of kids out walking their dog. What could possibly go wrong? Dog license. The dog catcher? You don't understand. We don't need a license. It's really a caterpillar. Listen, kid. I know a short-legged hairless beagle when I see one. No license, no dog. But... Poor Bugs. Walked up in the pound. Even worse, he was about to turn into a cocoon. We had to get him out before he changed into a butterfly or he could never fly away. Relax. This isn't illegal. A dog pounds for dogs, not caterpillars. But... How do we get in? Ah, easy with the Tracy McBean extendable stilt shoes. Just set the height adjustment and away we go! <laughs> Good puppy. Shh, nice puppy. Tracy, over here. Bugs has already changed into a cocoon. Quick, Seamus, there's no time to lose. It's too big. It'll never fit through the door. You're right, Seamus. There's only one way out. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> we did it! Oh, what do we do now? Get rolling! <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing more to do but to set Bugs free. Tracy! Look! Seamus said he'd be strong, but even a tough guy like him gets emotional at times. You take care, Bugs. If you ever need anything, you know who to call. You think you'll be okay? I think you'll be fine. Come on, Seamus. Time for breakfast. 
Well, the local plan show was a huge success. And guess what? Seamus and I came third in the tomato growing competition. The McConnelly brothers won first prize, but they used so many chemicals that no one was game to eat it. But it wasn't a total waste. They found their tomato glowed in the dark. They save a fortune on electricity. And me? I've given up gardening for a while. I've got other things to worry about. OK, now who wants a home in a big backyard? Settle down! Don't everyone bark at once. Right, now prefer brand of dog food. 